Hi there folks, welcome to Dunsey's Guitar World and welcome to another exciting instalment in my new Evil British Heavy Metal series for December 2021. So Dunsey, what are we talking about today? We're talking about Saxon Denim and Leather. Came out in September 1981. Who's tour support again? Riot. I might do a five part series on the I love Riot. Love Riot. They're good. I love Riot. It's like a glam rock band. This came out in September 1981. I have to say, I mean, I, I don't know about you fellow New Wave of British Heavy Metal fans out there, but this album and the album before it, Song Arm of the Law, I mean, on any given day, I could change between these two as to what my favourite Saxon album is. I mean, it's difficult. These two albums came out in like a 12 month period. It's difficult to to see if which one is best, you know, like a, a change all the time. But for the purposes of this particular episode, I'm going with denim and leather. Because at the end of the day, it brought us all together. It was you and me that set the spirit free. What a set of songs. I mean, incredible. And the guitar riffs, I mean, even the opening guitar riffs of all these songs. Princess of the Night, for example. I mean, back in the day, when I was a young gun, you know, with hair, I could play the song at full speed, just with down soaks. But these days, yeah, I mean, these days, I wouldn't get away with playing it that fast. These days, I can do a pedestrian version, though, I think. You could probably do that. And after that, we've got Never Surrender. Cool guitar riff at the intro of that. And then out of control, the section have gone out of control. <laughs> Yeah, a record shop, a shop that sells vinyl records. Anybody under the age of 20 watching this video will be saying, a vinyl shop that sells records? What's, what's that old grey beardy guy talking about? So then we go on to, and the bands played on. <laughs> which is about the first Monsters of Rock Festival Castle Donington in the UK There's an interesting story about that Oh look it's a squirrel There we go There he is Squirry the squirrel Might have been Sammy the squirrel, I don't know, it's a grey squirrel. They're not uh, indigenous to Scotland, I believe they've taken over from the red squirrel. Anyway, Donington Monsters of Rock 1980, famous for three things. Famous for being the first, I guess, dedicated rock and heavy metal festival in the UK. Famous for the bass player from Touch, Canadian band Touch, he swallowed a bee on stage. I think he, uh, the bee was in his beer. And he took a sluggy beer and the bee went in his mouth so he swallowed the bee. I mean it could have been worse, it could have swallowed a wasp. And it's also famous for Graham Bonnet, singer of Rainbow. Now I love Rainbow, they're a great band. But uh, for some reason that the, the Donington Festival, and it seems to have been cut from the video, I mean you can find the video on YouTube, but I remember seeing the 
original video when you could hire videos. Maybe when you could hire videos from a shop. My friends and I hired the video from the shop. And uh, I've got the soundtrack album as well, by the way. I've got the soundtrack album. So the version of All Night Long that Rainbow did, there's a big crowd participation part in the middle. And then Graham Bonnet starts doing impressions. He starts doing an impression of Robin Day. By courtesy of the BBC, he is none other than Sir Robin Day, the BBC's great man. And then starts doing an impression of a guy who used to be on the UK TV called was it Percy Edwards. He used to do animal impressions. Imitate true bird songs now, can you? I mean, the Robin. So in the middle of um, this raging rock song, Graham Bonnet does a crowd sing-along and then he starts whistling, starts doing animal bird impressions. This is my Percy Edwards! Ready? And then it finally ends when he stands on something sharp. I mean, look at his face here. And I think at one point he says, bring on the mushy peas. Crazy stuff from Mr. Graham Bonnet there at the Castle Donington Monsters of Rock Festival 1980. Anyway, back to Saxon. So we then have, check my show notes here, they're in on a post it note. Like, we have. Midnight Rider, which I think is about, listening to the lyrics, is about Saxon being on tour in the US in a bus. Great riff, the intro riff, fantastic. The album ends with the all time, you could say this is like, you know, the heavy metal anthem, the new wave of British heavy metal anthem. Denim and leather, you have to excuse the wind. I mean, the wind here, not, not me. It's, uh, it's quite windy today, it's cold as well, Scotland, it's cold today. And uh, yes, denim and leather brought us all together. It was you, you, that set the spirit free. <laughs> Now I've already done a, I think I did a cover and maybe a lesson for that, so I'll post a link somewhere up here. So anyway, to my point, today's video was, I mean I always try and go for something that I couldn't find anybody else has done. So I went for, I'll need to check my show notes again, I went for, I'll need to check the album. Fire in the Sky, second last song. I mean that's how dedicated I am, I'm out here in the freezing cold in Scotland talking about Saxon. I even brought even brought the record with me when I mean, there'll be people in these flats behind me saying uh, Hello, is that, is that the police? There's some strange bearded guy in an anvil hat showing people a Saxon album on his phone I think it's a very suspicious behaviour and they might be right So anyway, on to today's video I mean, as ever, I didn't do all the solos in this I've, I'm not the lead guitar player in Saxon and I don't want to make a fool of myself playing the solos really, ba really badly along with the the backing track, you know, you come to a stage in life where you, you know, you know where to draw the line. So uh, I'm just doing the rough rhythm guitar parts on Saxon's Fire in the Sky. As ever, folks, it's a privilege and a pleasure bringing you content on Dunsey's Guitar World. Cheers for now. <laughs>